What's up, everybody? It's your boy JD back again with another video. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to hop back in the Tower of God greatness. So it is officially back, man. The GOAT has returned. Tower of God has officially started back up. I don't know what I should be expecting from this chapter. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be wrapping up a lot of things in season three. Probably going to get to see a few characters. Probably going to get to see Trauma Rai, Bam, Coon, Rachel, Rack. Probably get to see them. Probably won't be nothing too crazy, but you never know. You never know it might come back with that heat. But it's only one way to find out, so we're going to go and get into it. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, want to take support any further, Patreon link is in the description below. Also, join our Tower Game membership and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video or go live on the channel. So let's go and get into it, man. I'm hype. Let's go. <clears throat> before the battle in the nest, Lopa Bia's battleship. Long time no see, Jihad. Did you call me because of Gustang? That's right. I heard. He said there's going to be a split soon. That's a declaration of war. I've been informed that you're gathering your family on a battleship. Gustang seems to think that the latest irregular in the tower might be someone special like Gus. What do you think, Traumarai? I'm not sure, but ever since I found out about that boy, I've started having nightmares again. I really want to test him. But if you don't want me to, no, that's all right. Go ahead and test him. I'll just say this, Traumarai. I hope this incident doesn't result in a conflict between Jihad and the Popadal families. At the same time, the Kuhn, Ari, and Ha families are too powerful to get involved, which means, I understand, we'll deal with the Popadal family. That's what you want, right? But on one condition. Condition? I want to check out the irregular myself. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Hold up. Ah, warm my hands up. Gotta warm your hands up for this one. It's, it's gonna be some shit. It's gonna be some shit. All right, let's go. I want to test him and find out if he really has the potential to become one of us. And if he does, then I'll use the irregular in the war against Gustain. Boy, you, boy, you've been smoking too long. You've been in hibernation too long. You think you gonna let? Boy, look, <laughs> boy, you, do you have your jacket, jacket arms crossed? You ain't gonna be using netting. You ain't gonna be using that. I'll marry him to a suitable partner for my family and make him my heir. Then I'll use him as a needle to target Gustang, not you, Jihad. Because that's how I work. Fine. As you wish. By the way, what kind of nightmares have you been having lately? Do you still remember? Oh, still not remember? No. I know they're nightmares, but I can never remember them when I wake up. It must be a memory that was completely devoured by Leviathan, but I can't understand why these memory fragments keep coming back and tormenting me. Who on earth is in a memory of, and why does it keep haunting me like this? Ooh, <laughs> Declaration of War. That is the title of this chapter. Okay. The prison where Kuhn and his teammates are being held. Okay. Why are you? You're out here again. Oh, there you are. Who came to visit you? Do you know someone from the Pope Dow? It was Rachel. Oh, what she's doing here? I'm not sure. She must have some pretty powerful connections around here. She offered to get me out of this prison. Where are the others? Stuck in their rooms, of course. The inmates in this prison are allowed to take turns leaving their rooms for three hours a day. And each person can stay in the living room by themselves for up to 30 minutes. Then how are you able to stay in the living room for as long as you like? I'm a guide. So why did Rachel offer to get you out of here? I don't know. She just, she didn't say. She just offered to have me released. I have no idea what she's up to. I guess I'll find out when I get out of here. Isn't this a good thing? She should be a pretty easy target for you once you're out of here. I'm not sure about that. I have a bad feeling this time. As you should. As you should. We all know you should not trust Rachel as far as you can throw her. You shouldn't trust her with a 2,000 foot pole. <sighs> She's still the queen of the tower though. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to tell y'all. She is. I mean, it wouldn't, be, it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a story without her. It all started because of her. Let's be honest here. 
I can feel him glaring at me. He's going to wear a hole in his glasses. Hey, kitty, congratulations on being a free man. Let's go. Wow, she really got me out. That must be a super powerful. That guy must be super powerful. Where should we go now? We should probably get him chains first and spray some cologne on him. He needs to look presentable. I see. And let's head over to the shop. He like, huh? <laughs> cool, like, wait, what? <clears throat> Thought I heard something stupid. You say, wait, what? <laughs> no war. Was the senio right about there being a war? Looks like the rumors about the war have already spread across the battleship. I don't blame people for being scared. This war would be like no other they've ever experienced. I'm sure even the family leaders must be concerned. Suit shop. That's a nice, that's a nice, it's kind of nice, kind of a nice um, logo. Okay, look at Coon looking all, looking all sharp and devil nail. Okay, I ain't, I ain't mad at the boy. What do you think? Very nice. He cleans up pretty well. What the heck are they up to? On the outskirts of the Pobodal battleship. Floating mansion of the Pobodal family upper class. This is not going to be good, is it? It can't be. This mansion looks like it belongs to someone pretty important. Why did you bring me here? And why am I dressed like this? Hey, aren't you going to tell me? For a public reading. What? You're going to give a public reading here tonight. It's the book club period now, so everyone wants to read something, but they don't feel like reading it themselves. But this family's suspendium, rich, upper-class, love seeing well-dressed men. Read. Wait, hold up. Hold up, bro. <clears throat> so you telling me, you telling me, time out, you telling me they got us all dressed up, looking good, smelling good, so we can read some rich, uppity people books? So we can read them a bedtime story? Oh, come on. Come on now. That's what we're doing. We've been reduced to this. We've been reduced to reading rich, upper class, lazy people bedtime stories? Boy, I know y'all. Boy, 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 boy. I didn't think the Pobodal family had their book club meetings in such a fancy place. I thought the purpose of the public readings was to clear the mind and focus on reading without any distractions. That's why we have public readings like this. Whenever you create dull rules like that, there are always people who want to break them. And today's book club meeting has another attraction as well. The book that you're going to read to everyone is forbidden within our family. Okay, so <clears throat> the book we're going to read is forbidden to everyone in the family. So why, okay, what? Right, so why would we want to read this book? That sounds bad for us. Sounds actually horrible. What's going on here? Everyone was, is wearing masks. Is this some kind of mask ball? Am I supposed to read this here? Right, <laughs> we supposed to read this here with all these people wearing masks? What is this? Jihad's Prince. Icarus? Okay, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Jihad's Prince and Icarus. Okay, hold up, hold up. We This this is different. This is new. Hold up. Hold up, swole up. I can't believe this. And what is Rachel back there smirking about? What is she smirking? Wait, hold on, oh, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen up, you disgusting people. He's so handsome. I love his energy. Sorry, but I refuse to read this delusional nonsense. If you really want to read it, go hide in a corner somewhere and read it yourselves. Did they really expect me to read that crap? Rachel, huh? She's gone. Wait a minute. Wait, huh? Put your hands up, everyone. This is a security squad. Wait, what? Wait, we were set up. Oh, no, she didn't set us up. Damn, Coon, you got got again. You let Rachel get you again, bro. You, boy, you just be letting Rachel hit you with the okie oak every single time, boy. You, we got to do better, Coon. We got to do better. Ain't no way you need to be letting Rachel hit you with the okie doke every five minutes, bro. What? 
How dare you hold a public reading without our permission? Arrest them all. Boy, they set us up. So that's what this is. A trap. Get him. Boy, run. Boy, you better put them, boy, you better put them, them, them loafers to work. If I'm accused of reading a book like that, I'll be screwed. Even if I am from one of the great ten families. Rachel, you sneaky bitch. <laughs> the next day, Pope with our family's battleship. Detention room in the security squad's headquarters. Name, Kuna Guerrero Agnes. Crap. After hiding a forbidden book in your lighthouse, you are caught attempting to read the book at a secret book club meeting. Upon seeing the security squad, you tried to escape or were captured. I knew Rachel was up to something when she had released me, but I didn't see this coming. Since then, you've been denying that you smuggled the book into the book club meeting. This isn't good. If someone accused, if someone's accused of reading a ridiculous book like that, even a member of the 10 great families like me could be executed. Do you object to anything in my report? I keep telling you, I'm not the one who brought the book to the forbidden, oh, that forbidden book in here. It was already there when I arrived. Pardon the interruption. See, Captain? It's exactly like I said. You. I knew he'd show his true colors if we let him go. What? I offered to let you go. To see what kind of person you are. All we knew about you people was that the family leader brought you here from the local beer but i figured you must have approached the family leader with some kind of ulterior motive and i was right how dare you bring a forbidden book abroad our battleship i know you boy you boy this better be the plan to get us out this better be a plan to release us because ain't no damn way y'all about to pin some crap on us like this oh no 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 that bastard is that why you approached the family leader you got some nerve you're in on this with those other local beer people who are on the war fleet, aren't you? He's not just trying to take me down. How long has the local Bia family been reading forbidden books? He's trying to take advantage of the fact that I came here from the local Bia's battleship to stir up hatred toward the local Bia family. Send a book to the family leader as well. Yes, sir. These local Bia people are despicable. He wants to create a reason to justify the war. But why? Well, I, I mean, granted, the Lopa Bill family is coming out to Pope Dow family, so that's technically a reason why you gonna try and justify the war. Maybe just to try to get people riled up and get them to realize that this war is going to happen one way or another, so that could be a thing. But at the same time, it's like, bro, you ain't have to stick us in it. After all the trouble I went through to get you released, here you are back in prison again, Rachel. They've been interrogating you for a few days now, but I heard you haven't said anything since the first day. Why don't you say something if you're innocent? Why bother? They're only questioning me as a formality. They haven't tortured or threatened me. They'll just keep me here for a while and then send me back to my room. Plus, the food here is pretty good. They've already reached their own conclusion anyway. Why would I protest and give away more information about myself? Besides, the family leader is the one who brought us here, and if he approved this little scheme of yours, then there's nothing I can do. Very clever, but why me? I hate to break it to you, but I have nothing to do with the local Bia, and I was abandoned by the Coon family as well. I won't be of much use for whatever you're up to. Why you? I think you might be overestimating your own importance. What? I just threw this plan together as a way of screwing you over. To be honest, anyone could have taken your place. You're so obsessed with yourself. Besides, this is all just for show anyway, a way of setting the stage for the upcoming public reading. You just happen to have arrived on this battleship from the local beer, and we're here right at, oh, here at the right time. It's not because you're special. Then what about that book? The story about Jahar's Prince and the 10 family leaders? It didn't look like it was just thrown together. The writing was quite sophisticated and detailed. Did you find the book? I'm not sure what to tell you. There's no such thing as Jihad's Prince. Well, we know that's a lie. <laughs> we know good and well that is a lie. I'm sure it's all just a bunch of nonsense. Do you have any other questions? How did you end up here? By chance, I ran into the family leader somewhere. He introduced me to the second in command and I've been helping them ever since. You mean helping them start the war? I'm not that powerful, but yeah, something like that. Now, since I answered your questions, it's my turn to ask you something. Where's Bam? Well, we knew that was coming. We knew that question was coming. Where's Bam? <laughs> Need to know basis. Leave the boy alone. Leave that man alone. That man ain't worried about you. Ain't been thinking about you. Ain't You ain't even on his radar. Leave that man be. I heard he disappeared after the battle in the nest. 
I don't know, but I'm sure he's still alive. So don't worry. You won't tell me, huh? Well, the whole battleship is already talking about how you read a forbidden book at a forbidden book club meeting. And since Lopo Beer's warp fleet suddenly appeared here right oh, at just the right moment, the family leader doesn't really need to bother manipulating public opinion. But he does want people's support for the war. Now he's achieved that. So he'll be hosting another public reading soon. He decided to hold another one since the last one was canceled. Anyway, it's going to be an important meeting since the family leader will be doing the reading himself. And with everyone on the battleship watching, he's going to declare all out war against the local beer. It's a declaration of war. A declaration of war. Are the ten great families really going to war? Yes, they are. We're going to war. It's going to be crazy. It's going to absolutely be insane. Rachel, of course, behind everything, like always. Nothing ever changes. Just a brand new day, same thing. She's scheming, willing and dealing, making promises she can't keep. And all for the sake of messing with Bam at the end of the goddamn day. Which is normal. But I am so glad it is what it is because we are back. It's going to be a wild ride. The war is coming. It's going to be a war unlike any other. A lot of people are going to die. A lot of people's going to get stronger too. Hopefully it's just the right people that's going to get stronger. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. You did. Make sure to drop a like. Sub to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below. Also, you guys want to keep up with me. Twist Twitter, Discord links. All of that is in the description as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.